Welcome to Book Talks with Diane. Today's book is Adelaide by Genevieve Wheeler. This book received 4.12 stars from Goodreads. A beautifully written, deeply felt exploration of what it means to love and be loved. Jill Sanapalo. Emotional and poignant. I was charmed. Sarah Addison Allen, best-selling author of Other Birds. For 26-year-old Adelaide Williams, an American living in dreamy London, meeting Roy Hughes was like a lightning bolt out of the blue. This charming Englishman was the one. She wasn't even looking for him. But is it enough? Does he respond to her text? Honor his commitments? Make advanced plans? Sometimes, rarely, and no, not at all. But when he shines his light on her, the world makes sense. And Adelaide is convinced that in his heart, he's fallen just as deeply as she has. Then, when Roy is rocked by an unexpected tragedy, Adelaide does everything in her power to hold him together, even if it means losing herself in the process. When love asks too much of us, how do we find the strength to put ourselves first? With unflinching honesty and heart, this relatable debut from a fresh new voice explores grief and mental health while capturing the timeless nature of what it's like to be young and in love with your friends, with your city, and with the person who cannot, will not love you back. I gave this book three and a half stars. If you are looking for a romance book or a feel-good book, this isn't it. Not at all. I'm going to be brutally honest. Adelaide is a train wreck. She just keeps making bad choices time after time after time. I know someone that is a lot like this, and now I understand them a little better after reading this book. I absolutely got frustrated and was even in tears a couple of times. But I am glad I finished this book because I learned a lot from the last part of it. Don't give up on it. Keep going. It does have a point to it all. But there are some triggers in this book. And if that is a problem for you, this is not the book that you need to be reading. Thank you for listening. And I hope to see you again soon.